Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to resize the character in iClone 7. As demo, I will just use some of the CC3 character first. It's under my avatar. First, I will use the CC3. Sorry, this is a CC character, not CC3. Alright, the next one I will use the C, uh, the G6 character. I will just use the Heidi. And next I will use the G5 character. I will just use the Jean. And how about G3 character? Is there any G3 character here? Yes, G3 character. I will use the violet. Now, all generations of the characters are here already. First, start from G3. I already double click and select the G3 character. Here I can see it's under this avatar proportion. The whole body, I must lock it, lock the XYZ. Then I can just adjust adjust the size. See? Alright, for G3 we already successfully adjust the size to resize the character. Then how about the G6? The G6 you also can see, right? Abata proportion. Click OK. Now you can just adjust it, adjust her. You can adjust the size as well. And how about the hair? Where is the hair? The hair is somewhere here. The hair you can resize it as well. Need to add, need to resize it separately. Okay, for the G6 fail, you have you have the hair issues and the eye issues, the eyes issues. If I move the hair, all right. How about the CC character? If I double click the CC character, for the CC character here, you cannot see any any of the resize button here. So how to resize the CC character? I open my CC tree and check it first. Character, character, character creator 3.32. This is the latest version. Okay, while it is loading, I will try my non-standard avatar that I imported from Vroid. All right, this is my Vroid character. I import from the Vroid through the 3D exchange and now you still can see the avatar proportion. For this time I try to resize. Okay. Always need to make sure the log XYZ is ticked already. You can resize. There's no problem, everything looks normal. Alright. For the G6, fail. How about the G5? Where is the G5 character just now? Jin? Okay, let's try the G5 character. The avatar proportion. I can resize her as well to become giant size. 
All right. For now, it's okay. G6 failed. The eyes missing. Okay, where is my CC3? You need to wait for a while, just be patient. You can skip this waiting part. Alright, now CC3 is loaded. Let me check the, the avatar scale. The whole body, everything, the scale. How about the body scale? Is there any option about the body scale? The full body scale, see whether can I search it? Or body scale? Head body scale this one no this is my custom morph all right how about the body let's say the full body make the full body scale decrease the full body scale you don't have Size? No. So CC three character don't have any of the Avata proportion. So the, the only way that I can do is just export it out. Export it out in to edit in 3D Exchange. For example, this this guy. I export it, I edit, click edit in 3D Exchange. So now I export it out as FBX first. As demo, I will export on my desktop. I browse on my desktop. And what is his name? The Christian. Christian. Then here I just choose Maya and make sure. Convert image to PNG, all this embed image, embed the texture. I click OK, click OK. All right, successfully exported. Now, he's on my desktop, and this is an FBX file. I drag into the 3D exchange. Alright, this one I click OK. To import again, and convert to non-standard, non-standard avatar.
Okay, when this pop out, means the auto conversion, click yes. Let me try first, I, I click yes. Alright, now we check again. It's supposed to be already converted, converted as the non standard, convert to non standard already. Okay, everything worked perfect. Next, we check the VSAM, everything is there, already automatic adjusted. Click the expression editor and have a check. Alright, everything already, already imported. So you no need to worry about this already. All the muscles also already adjusted. The VSAM. Or RCC base. Now, since it already convert to non-standard, Now, I export it out. Click here to export it out. And I will export on my desktop as demo. I will click browse. Browse on the desktop. Click OK. The file name still remains as Christian non standard avatar. Then click OK. Now we just want to wait, wait until it export as as the icon non-standard avatar on my desktop. Alright, now for this time, since it is a non-standard avatar, I drag into the icon, I should be able to resize it. Alright, now you can see the texture. The texture is something wrong here. Right. First, we adjust the texture. To make sure all the strength be 100. Okay. The shirt, let's be 100. Next one, the eyes. The skin body, the skin head. What else? The eye slash, the fingernail. All right. How about the hair? This is just the, the reflection of the roughness. I deleted and try. Sorry, not this. We should find the hair. This is a hair mesh. The roughness must delete it. And how about the metallic? All right. Next. Copy this roughness, then paste, paste on the hair, this one roughness, right click paste. Now, it is exactly same as the original avatar already. How about the eyes? This is a cornea, still abnormal, the cornea. Make sure 
the strength, the strength is 100. The ice, the cornea, the strength. All right, now normal ready. Look. So now, how to make the Christian's scale be adjusted? Since this is a non-standard avatar, we converted from the CC3, export it out as FBX, and now import again, become a non-standard avatar. We just choose this and see whether do you have any any of the avatar proportion that you can choose here? It's already here, see? Click OK. Now you can adjust the size. It's totally successful. So in this video tutorial, I already guide you how to resize any of the avatar, include the non-standard avatar, the G3 and G5. And now we discover a failure in G6 character. And the G6 character, we only have two. So no need to worry about the G6. Because now you have the character creator tree, you can create uh, create unlimited avatars. Alright, that's all for today about how to resize the avatar and characters in Icron 7. Include the CC3 avatar. And thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish the new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.